Hi, Sally here. Thanks for joining me today for our 15 minute free lesson. I'm going to show you a picture. I want you to see if you can guess what it is. What's this? You might say it's a watch and you're right. When we wear it on our wrist, we call it a wrist watch. This is a pocket watch. It's very special. It's special because it has small bumps on the surface. Who might need this kind of watch? Who needs a watch with small bumps on the surface? A blind person might be helped by a watch with small bumps on the surface. I'm just bringing this up so I can write here. So who might use this? Someone who is blind. This is a braille watch. And the kind of watch it is, is a pocket watch. It wasn't worn on the wrist, but it was in a gentleman's pocket. The gentleman in question is a relative of mine. He's my uncle. In fact, he's my great uncle. We've been talking this week about our relatives and our ancestors. So my great uncle, is my grandfather's brother. And during World War I, he was blinded, as were many other soldiers. And my dad has his watch. I don't know if my uncle is in this picture. <laughs> But this is a picture from the place where he went to recover in some time after the First World War. So in the 1920s, blind soldiers went to a place called St. Dunstan's in London to recover and learn new skills. The story has a happy ending because my uncle married his nurse. So he met his future wife there and married her. They were very happy together and had children. So although this started as quite a sad story, I feel it is a story of optimism. Optimism and hope. There is a story, there's a feeling that being blind is very serious, but it is not the end of the world. And there is always hope. We talked too about turning present tense verbs into past tense. I wonder if you could have a go at some of these questions. If the present tense says buy new clothes, the question I'd like you to ask is when was the last time you, when was the last time you bought new clothes? Buy becomes bought. When was the last time you bought new clothes? When was the last time? 
Was it last week? Last month? Last year? Go to the cinema. If we think of go in the past tense, when was the last time you... That's right, went to the cinema. When was the last time you went to the cinema? Eat chocolate. What's eat in a past tense? Eat, of course, become, becomes ate. When was the last time you ate chocolate? And when we say it quickly, when was the last time you ate chocolate? It becomes et. That's how it's quite often pronounced. Go to the hairdressers. Go to the hairdressers like go to the cinema. So when was the last time you went to the hairdressers? When was the last time you went to the hairdressers? I went to the hairdressers hmm, a couple of months ago. Do some sport. Do becomes what in past tense? When was the last time you did some sport? When was the last time you did some sport? Well, I cycled into town yesterday, but was that really sport? <laughs> it felt like it to me. Swim in the sea or in a lake. What's the past tense for swim? When was the last time you swam in a lake? Last week, I swam in the river. It's so warm here. Cook. Cook a big meal. What's the past tense for cook? This one's quite straightforward. Cooked. Cooked a big meal. Travel. Traveled. When was the last time you traveled? By train. If the present tense is ride a bicycle, what's past? I ride a bicycle, but yesterday I rode a bicycle. When was the last time you rode a bicycle? Write a letter. Write is in presence. What present tense? What's past tense? That's right, wrote a letter. When was the last time you wrote a letter? Go to the dentists and go on holiday are the same as go to the cinema. So we could say, when was the last time you went to the dentist or dentists? It the same. So when was the last time you went to the dentist? When was the last time you went to the dentist? I went to the dentist last year. Maybe I should go again soon. Go on holiday becomes went. When was the last time you went on holiday? Was it recently? I went on holiday last week. Or was it a long time ago? Oh, I haven't been on holiday for five years. That's all from me for today. I hope you've learned something new. Keep practicing and come and join us if you can next time for our free tea break lessons. Just 15 minute slot to learn and practice your English. Comment on Facebook or be in touch with us there. And if you'd like to come for more lessons, then you can also get in touch on Facebook. Thanks again.
Bye-bye.